Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today in the Houston Astros matchup in the series closer against the Seattle Mariners today in Seattle at 3 10 p.m. Um, after a tough loss last night, losing 7 5, having a 3 0 lead up until the fifth inning to all the way up to the bottom of the eighth. Uh, the Astros were up for threes, up 3 0 for, th for three innings and uh, horrible. They, they, I mean, they had two outs with a runner on first and bad plays in the infield with Jeremy Pena and Bregman running into each other. Pena not being able to make the play at third. Um, bases are loaded. Then JP Crawford ties it with a double, and then the Mariners just kept their in and going. So uh, and scored seven in the in the and then they scored seven in the eighth. And then the night before, Astros did get the win. But I, I was impressed with the way the Astros played on Friday. But same kind of thing. Astros had a 4-0 lead in this game. But then in the 7th or the 8th inning, Mariners tied it with four runs. And the Astros, then the game was tied. Uh, but the Astros, unlike yesterday, were able to get the win on Friday with a Kyle Tucker two-run home run in the ninth. So the Astros got lucky with Tucker's home run. Yesterday, the Astros... It was that bad in the eighth inning. They couldn't. It was unmanageable. I mean, Jake Myers had an RBI double, um, two run an RBI double in the, in the ninth, but it wasn't enough for the Astros in that game. Uh, let's go over the lineup for today. Not a lot of lineup changes for the Astros. Abreu, he's moving uh, back to first base. It was D they, uh, Dusty gave him the day off on the field yesterday. DH'd him, played Hensley at first, but Abreu is back at first today. Um, any other changes? Corey Jolks is back in the lineup after missing, I think, the last three or four games. Uh, Dusky's kept him out of the lineup, even though he's been hitting really well over the last couple games for, I don't know, for what reason. Um, and then Martin Maldonado, after having the day off yesterday, and Yadier Diaz catching, is back in the lineup for the Astros. Um, lineup looks like it, our, our pitching lineup looks like it is shaped up after, all these pitching injuries because Brandon Belak is starting. So it looks like we have the first, you know, you know, the first five guys in the starting rotation for the Astros. Um, Fromber should pitch tomorrow on Monday. And then Javi will pitch Tuesday. Wednesday will will be uh, Wednesday will be um, Wednesday will be Wednesday will be Hunter Brown. And then, and then Thursday, sorry, did I get that right? Yeah, Monday, so the Angels series, Monday will be, will be uh, Fromber, then Tuesday will be uh, Javi, then, then, then Wednesday will be Hunter Brown, and then I don't know if the Astros have the, the Astros do have the day off Thursday, then Friday opening up against the, then Friday opening up against the White Sox, uh, would be, would be again the rookie, uh, JP France who started yesterday, and then Brandon Belak on that second game. So it looks like the Astros have their five man rotation with both Urquidy and Garcia out of the out of the rotation. Looking like it is one Valdez, two Javi, three Hunter Brown, four JP France, and four and five Brandon Belak. But Belak is on the mound tonight for the Astros after. After uh, pitching on Monday, after Garcia got hurt, Garcia got hurt in the first inning, and uh, Garcia got hurt in the first inning with zero outs, and Brandon Bielak came in the first, pitched the first four innings, had six strikeouts, only gave up two hits and three walks, and was really solid in those four innings, and can't wait to see what he what he does tonight with a little more action. I mean, I don't think he'll definitely get maybe five to six innings, if not even more than that. I don't think... He'll get seven. I think five to six will will be the the innings for Belak tonight or today. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what uh, Brandon Belak has in store for us on, on his first start of 2023 and his second appearance of 2023. Let's go over the lineup though for today for the Astros. Like I said, not too many changes. Went over the changes with Maldonado and Jolks being back in the lineup and Abreu moving over to first base. But let's quickly go over the lineup. Uh, Dubon, Dubon's at leadoff still at. Okay, original six. That's what I like to call it. The original six because it's not it is not changed at all. Dubon at second base at one. Bregman at third base at two. Jordan at DH at at three. 
Abreu at first base at four, Kyle Tucker at five in right field, and six, Jeremy Pena at shortstop. Then at seven in left field is Corey Jolks after being out of the lineup for three or four games. And then at eight is Jake Myers at center field. Man, his kid's been hitting the ball nice. I mean, he had two he had two doubles yesterday, a ground rule double and a and a and a and a, and a two RBI double. Jake Myers right now is hitting the baseball unbelievable and it's 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 amazing to watch and it's going to be really really hard when Jazz McCormick comes back with the way Jake is hitting right now you you compare the way Jake's hitting right now and the way Chas was hitting before he got injured that's that's now that that was the center field uh competition uh, we were kind of looking for uh in in spring training which wasn't that entertaining as we thought it would be but Chaz, I think when Chaz comes back with the way Jake's hitting right now, I think it's going to be really inter- interesting to see who plays more. I know Astros fans would rather want Chaz, and I, I probably right now would rather want Chaz, but Jake Myers is hitting the ball amazing the last couple weeks. Then back after getting the day off yesterday at 9 is Martin Maldonado at catcher, and the pitcher on the mound, like we already talked about, is Brandon Belak, um, your starting pitcher. So, yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me your thoughts on the on the game for today and excited and peace out go astros